Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our SQL series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can insert data from an existing table to a new table with selected columns or few columns which you require for your data operations, right? Okay, so in our previous video, I have shown you how you can insert data from an existing table into a new table, right? This was the example which I have shown you in my previous video. Okay, so again for this example where I want to insert data from an existing table to a new table with selected columns, I need to create a new table. First of all, I need to create a new table. So what I'll do is that, <coughs> sorry, what I'll do is that I'll create a new table. I'll copy paste this query which I have used in my previous video. Okay. Instead of using class underscore new, I'll use class new underscore version 2. Okay. So first I'll create this table. So we can see our log, what it says. It says that zero rows affected. Right. Now, just for the checking purpose, I'll use, I'll see the table, how it looks. So select a star from, I'll YouTube, sorry, I'll copy this, okay, and I'll paste it here, and I'll close this query, and then I'll run it. So currently, my table, class underscore new underscore version 2 is blank. Now what I want to do is that I don't want marks in my this new table, new underscore version 2 table. I want to have entire thing from this class underscore new table which we had created earlier. So let me show you what, what value is present in class underscore new. Okay. So currently we have three columns in class underscore new which is roll number student name and marks and in my new table which i have created right now class underscore new underscore version 2 i don't want this marks column so what i need to do is that simply i need to use the insert statement with the select statement for class so let's write it down insert into youtube sorry insert into YouTube example dot class underscore new underscore version 2 okay then we'll write select star sorry so we need require only roll number and student name right so what we'll do we'll write select roll underscore number then student underscore name from so our table was this one youtube example dot class new right so our from we are, we are taking the records from class underscore new table now if i run this query as per my requirement i should get only roll number and student name in my new table so let's run this query first okay i ran this query okay okay so it's saying that column count doesn't match and the reason behind it that we had this mark marks column also okay let me create a new table for you version 3 where i do not want my marks column okay so i'll run this one zero rows affected now i will see what all columns are present in my class underscore new underscore version 3 table I have only roll number and student okay now what I'll do is that insert into YouTube example dot class underscore new underscore version 3 in which I have only two columns roll number and student okay and I'm getting data from class underscore new if I run this query now you will see in this log that 15 rows has been affected okay now if I see the value of this table if i want to see all records of this table this class underscore new underscore version 3 i'll use this select statement to view the entire record okay now there you go you have your roll number you have your student name 
but we as we didn't want it to get marks we do not have it here so this is how you get a selected columns from an existing table into a new table so you have to create a new table first while creating the new table you have to make sure that you are selecting or you are creating only those columns which you required for example in our case we we create a roll number and a student name and then we use the select statement from our previous table to insert values in this new table okay so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll show you how you can select the entire record to display on your screen from a table or how you can select particular columns from a table to get reflected on your screen hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button